Hi, and welcome back to Temple Baptist Church Online Devotion. I'm glad that you're with me today. Today, I'm covering number seven from the book of Zephaniah, the Old Testament minor prophet that's uh, way back in the Old Testament. And today, we're going to be looking at chapter two, verse one through three. And this devotion is entitled Hidden. Um, the Bible says from verse 1 through 3 of chapter 2, Gather yourselves together. Yes, gather together, O undesirable nation. Before the decree is issued, or the day passes like chaff, before the Lord's fierce anger comes upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger comes upon you, seek the Lord, all you meek of the earth, who have upheld his justice, seek righteousness, seek humility. It may be that you will be hidden in the day of the Lord's anger. The name Zephaniah means Yahweh. <coughs> Excuse me. The name Zephaniah means Yahweh hides or Yahweh has hidden. In this passage, we read that God calls the people to repentance with the possibility that those who repent might be hidden or that they might be skipped over in some way on the day of the Lord's anger, that God would um, take the initiative because of their repentance to pass them by. From the days of Moses and from his story, we remember the Passover. The Passover was the time when God told Moses to say to all of the people to slaughter the lamb and to take the blood and to put it over the doorpost. And when the angel would come in the middle of the night to slaughter all of the firstborn sons, that angel would pass by those doors and the sons within those homes would be saved. Because of the blood, they were hidden from God's wrath. In the New Testament, it is as well because of blood. The blood, not of a lamb, but the blood of Jesus Christ, which hides or which saves and guards the believer from the coming wrath of the Lord, the coming judgment that will be there upon each person who's never trusted in Jesus Christ. In the Old Testament passage here, there is only a possibility of salvation. But in the New Testament, we find that in Jesus, by faith in Jesus alone, we are granted the sure reality of immediate, eternal salvation. There's no question about it. There is no doubt. Listen to the words of 1 John chapter First John chapter um, 5, verse 11 through 13. It says, And this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life. And this life is in his Son. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God that you may know that you have eternal life and that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. Our hope is that you have believed in the name of the Son of God, that He has given you eternal life. The only way for one to be hidden from the eternal wrath of God is by faith alone in Jesus Christ. At Temple Baptist Church, we want to help you grow in your faith, we would love for you to come and visit us if you don't have an active place of worship. We meet on Sundays at 8, at 10, at 6 p.m., and then again on Wednesdays at 7. Thanks for watching, and we hope that you will like our video, that you will share it with others, so that they as well can hear the word of the Lord, and God can use it to draw them closer to himself. God bless you, and I'll see you next time for installment number eight from the book of Zephaniah.